Let's look at the most popular staterooms on the Norwegian Breakaway. Stick around and we'll show you the largest stateroom on board and we'll share some tips to help you get the best stateroom experience for your money, including where you can go to see information and images of specific staterooms by stateroom number. That's right. Let's start with the balcony stateroom. They are about 300 square feet, including a 129 square foot balcony, and they have room for two to four guests. Right, and it includes a nice couch mm -hmm. and floor to ceiling window. And you also get a bed that you can split into two twin beds. That's right. And it's just a very comfortable room. Yeah. Of course, the main feature of a balcony room is you get that balcony. You also get a nice flat screen TV. Mm -hmm. And uh, in our experience, these newer uh, TVs they're putting in there swivel so you can view them from the couch or the bed. So nice. Yeah. And they have a mini fridge, safe. You've got that desk and a sofa, like, like Joy mentioned. Um, some of the rooms, you can have room for extra people, like I said, up to four people, because they have Pullman beds that come down from the walls or the couches fold out. You can also save money by booking a sail away balcony. That means they will pick the room for you. It's a little cheaper. Keep in mind, they might pick a room with an obstructed view. Let's take a look at the bathroom. And this is what the bathrooms typically look like for the, the, the main categories of cabins on board. They're so updated and, mm -hmm. and uh, clean looking. They have the two shelves, one for her, one for him, <laughs> yeah. and a nice sink. And the wastebasket is underneath the sink. So it took yeah. me a little bit to find it. <laughs> yeah, look for that. You got to open the, the door to get under the sink to the trash can. And the shower has a door, a glass, a glass door. door. <laughs> yes, we hate the shower curtain. So that's a great thing on Norwegian Breakaway. You get the shower, glass shower door. Yeah, we really like the bathrooms on Norwegian. And if speaking of liking, if you're liking this sort of content, you want to see more of the sort of thing, hit the thumbs up icon below. It really helps us out. Let's move on to a different category where you can save money. Yay. With an inside cabin. That's right. Yep. The inside cabins are 135 square feet and have room for two to four guests. And we found that if you split the beds up, it seems like you have more room mm -hmm. than if you have the bed together. That's so, right. Because it's narrow on the sides of the bed. Yeah, it is. When you have the bed put together, it's you you, you split your aisle in half. So, um, and especially if there's a Pullman um, uh, bed on one of the walls, it's really tight to get by. And you've got that little desk, which again, it can be tricky to get past it when you have the bed combined. And you sleep really well. So also make sure you have a little nightlight so you can see where you're going in the dark. Yep. That's one of the benefits of the inside cabin. It definitely does get dark at night. Um, and if you need some light, you need to bring your own light, or you're going to have to turn on all lights and sleep with lights on. Um, so the room does have, like the balcony, it has the uh, flat screen TV. Mm -hmm. It's got the safe in the closet, and you've got the mini fridge. And they, they typically stock those with um, still water and sparkling water and sometimes a bottle of wine that you can purchase. Or you can ask your room attendant to remove those, and you can use it for your own purposes. Yep. Just like the balcony cabins, you can save money by booking a sail away inside stateroom and they will assign the room for you. Let's move on to the ocean view rooms. Ooh, those are so cool. I love them. Yes. So similar to the inside cabins, similar in size, maybe a little bit bigger, about 160 square feet with room for two to five guests. So the ocean view cabin has a window and it's nice. And sometimes you can put stuff like the the towel animals on that windowsill. <laughs> One of the main features of having a window. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Or you can also look out and see the ocean I or know. the port you're in. Yeah, exactly. <sighs> yep, but it has all the other features that we just mentioned for the inside cabin. You're going to have the flat screen TV that swivels. Mm -hmm. You're going to have the mini fridge. You're going to have the safe. And you're going to have the little desk. Yep, that also works as a makeup counter. Yep, and in case I didn't make it clear, all of these categories we're mentioning do have the bathroom with a glass <laughs> glass yeah. door instead of the shower curtain. They're so um, nice. So maybe a little more price-wise than the inside cabin, but less money typically than the balcony. So right. that can be a great option too. Now, if you're sailing by yourself or you're a group of people sailing and you want your own cabin, you can do that. Norwegian Breakaway has a studio stateroom. 
and the studio stateroom allows a single person traveling by themselves on the ship or individuals who want to have privacy and have their own room to have their own room. You can avoid the single supplement charge that usually occurs when you sail by yourself on most cruise ships in most cabins. The studio staterooms run 97 to 131 square feet. It looks so comfortable and efficient, you know, because you do have a bathroom mm -hmm. and you do have a separate shower, but it's only yourself that is in the room. So yeah. it can only fit one person. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. They only book these for individual is single single traveler, so you can't book this for two people or more. There is a studio lounge where you can hang out with other single people in your yeah, lounge. That's a perk that the other rooms don't have. It's a, it's a studio, uh, what do they call this, the, the studio lounge? Yep. That's what you just said. <laughs> and it's near the studio rooms. Mm -hmm. You can go in there, and it's not only an area to hang out in that people in the other state rooms can't go to, um, or at least don't have access to on their own. Um, they have beverages and snacks in the morning, they'll have pastries, and you can go there and get coffee or whatever. So it's very convenient. You don't have to go all the way to the buffet or somewhere else to get food. If you just want a quick bite, that's a definitely a perk of the studio state rooms. Again, flat screen TV, um, and it's got a desk, and it's got uniquely, it's got a one way window, that round window there. To, to look into the corridor and you can adjust it so you can see out or you can block it off. But either way, people can't see and it's a one-way window. Now we got to show you the largest suite on the region breakaway, the Haven Deluxe Owner Suite with large balcony, weighing in at 932 square feet, including a 204 square foot wraparound balcony and room for four very lucky guests. That uh, Haven Suite is bigger than some apartments. It, it has a combined living room, dining room mm -hmm. kind of combination with a beautiful balcony that does wrap around. Plus, you have a bathroom that has a, a tub with the window right next to the tub so you can look out onto the ocean. Yeah, that's pretty cool. A nice soaking tub and a separate shower. Right. And plus, it does actually have... A little vanity area where you can put your makeup on it's mm -hmm. so nice and roomy so yeah imagine taking a bath in the on the ocean <laughs> on the ocean with a view of the ocean yeah exactly that'd yeah. be so nice and of course the, the bedroom has a nice big king size in this case a king size bed um you've got the flat flat screen tv it swivels and it's also got a wet bar with an espresso maker oh. nice nice Ooh. perk and of course, like the other rooms, you've got your mini bar and you've got a safe. You've got the big couch with a coffee table and the dining room table. You are going to be very popular if you have this suite. Yeah, you're so fancy. Ooh la la. Yes. <laughs> and because it's part of the Haven, it also includes access to the Haven Courtyard, mm -hmm. exclusive spot just for guests in the Haven. It also has access to the private sun deck mm -hmm. and access to the Haven Lounge. You can go there and have drinks, hang out and enjoy yourself. Another exclusive spot. You get access to the Haven Restaurant. Ooh. You go there for all meals and you have delicious food. If you can afford it, hey, book it. And if we're on board, be sure to invite us over to visit. <laughs> yeah, and let's take a look at the overhead view here. It's kind of zoom in here so you can see. Um, you've got, like, like Joy said, that wraparound balcony. You've got that king size bed in the bedroom, and of course your living area with uh, with a nice comfortable couch and um, the dining room table. But out there by the entryway, you've also got a half bath. So if you do have guests, you can have them use that, so you can keep your ensuite your ensuite bathroom all to yourself. That's nice. Now, before we share some special Norwegian breakaway stateroom tips, we're going to ask you if you haven't done so yet, be sure to subscribe doesn't cost anything. It's just a way to follow us so you don't miss our future cruise videos. Now for the tips. Yay! First tip, staterooms in the same class may vary in layout and size. Tip number two, midship staterooms on the lower decks have the least motion. So if you're sensitive to seasickness, motion sickness, go for the lower deck at midship. 
-hmm. Tip number three, avoid staterooms adjacent to public areas. They can be noisy. Yeah. We've been above or below a public area, and we wish we hadn't been. <laughs> Pick a room above, below, and adjacent to other staterooms, not public areas. Right. You don't want to hear the laughter from the comedy show. That's right. Tip number four, book a room on deck eight of the Norwegian Breakaway to be near the waterfront and some of the most popular restaurants and bars on board. Yeah, you have easy access. That's right. So. Tip number five, consult a travel agent for help. And tip number six, specific stateroom information is available at two websites. If you want to look it up by room number, go to cruiseline.com. They also have the Shipmate app with similar information or cruisedeckplans.com. For more on the Norwegian Breakaway, watch this video next.